Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can make a character follow a path in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.1 and also I got a character along with the walk animation. So if I select this armature and if I bring this here, you can see we got this walk animation keyframes. So now if I play this, you can see we got this walk animation, but this animation is only of 30 frames. So I want this animation throughout the timeline. So in order to get that, change this from timeline to non-linear animation. Make sure this armature is selected while doing that and change this from timeline to non-linear animation after that click on this push down action button now hover onto this space now press n on the keyboard come to the strip options so let me expand this one here come to the strip options here scroll down come to this action clip and here increase this repeat value so if i increase this repeat value you can see we are getting the keyframes added and if you want to increase or decrease the playback of this speed of walk cycle we can increase if i increase this to 2 and if i play this you can see the walk cycle will be slow and if i change this to default one it will be the actual speed okay so depending upon requirement you can change this value here so after this let's move back to this timeline okay so now let's create a path and make our character to follow that path. So for that, let me move on to this top view, press 7 for top view and let's create a path here. So let me place the character here. Now come to this add options, curve, select this path. So we got a path here. So let me rotate this. Uh, okay, hold control key. Okay. So now go to the edit mode being selected this curve. Let me select this move tool press tab on the keyboard for edit mode so here you can see we got this five vertices here so be on this top view only so select this vertices press e and extrude this one now again press e and add a path of your desired so here i will add a random path here so here you can see i have added this path so again press tab to exit this mode edit mode so here we can see we got this path here so now I want to make this character to follow this path. So before doing that, first we need to check the direction of this path. So in order to do that, select the curve, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode, go to this edit mode, come to these options here, click on this overlay option and enable this normal here. So now you can see we got this arrow indication. So this arrow indication means here you can see the arrows are facing this direction. So this will be the end point and this will be the starting point this point will be the starting point so if i want to make the character walk from this point we can't do this now so we need to change the direction of this path animation so let me show you this quickly so if i press tab on the keyboard we can exit this so now let's parent this with the default direction of this curve so hold shift key select this armature and select this curve here now press ctrl plus p and select this path constraint so now you can see our character has moved to this position so actually i want our characters to start from this position so that is the reason we want to change the direction of that arrow so let's undo this one okay so now again select this curve go to edit mode so now let's see how we can change this so here the arrows are in this direction so right click and select this switch direction so now the arrow direction has been changed. So again, press tab to exit this edit mode. Now select the armature, hold shift key while doing that and select this curve later. Now press control plus P and select this path constraint. So now you can see we got our character here only. Okay. So now after that, select the armature. So now we need to set the orientation. So come to this constraint properties here and here we need to set the orientation in Y axis. So minus y axis. So select this minus y and change this to y. So now enable this follow curve option and click on this animate path. So these options may change depending upon your scene. So select the right forward axis and up axis and enable this follow curve option and click on this animate path. 
so now if i play this our character is not moving so i need to set up this up axis so let me change this z axis here okay so i think this is fixed so now our character is following the path but the speed is too high so select this curve come to this curve options here come to this path animation here the frames is set only for 100 frames so let me change this to 250 and now let's check this once again so this is also a bit fast so now let me increase this frames here and this one we need to adjust manually after setting this frames to 717 the animation walk animation is matching with the speed okay so let me hide out this armature and let's see this nice so in this way we can make a 3d character follow along the path in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye